Hi teachers and students, in this video we are going to discuss accessibility tools that work within Edmentum and we are going to specifically discuss the highlighting tools and select to speak and read aloud tools available right from within Edmentum. I'm going to take a look at two different screens because we may find these tools in different places. In the first screen, I happen to be in a quiz, and as I hover over the answers, they do highlight. If I need further tools, I can select the Tools toolbar at the top. By doing this, I can toggle on the switch for Click to Speak, and I have an option of a female or a male voice reading aloud the questions. I can click to have things read aloud and it will highlight as it reads the questions aloud. I can pause that read aloud. I can use the play button at the top and then I can stop the read aloud altogether. If you toggle off click to speak, you will not have these options. So you will need to turn on click to speak and then select wherever you want it to start speaking or hit the play button. On the far right, you will have highlighting tools that will allow you to highlight different parts of the text. You will need to drag your cursor over that part of the text and then select the highlight tool in order for it to highlight. If you want to cancel those highlights, you can click the cancel highlight and it will remove all the highlights at once. If you are in a lesson, you also have accessibility tools built in on the left. There are a few more options for you. The first option is a dictionary. If I don't know what the word central means, I can look up central and get a definition for that word. On the bottom, if I need help with translation, I can highlight a section, two finger click on the section to copy it, and then paste the section in the box and select the language. I would then select translate and it will translate that section below. You will probably want to do this for smaller sections instead of the whole page at once. There are lots of languages available for you to select from. The last option is the reading tools. Depending on what page you are on, there are different options for the reading tools. If the page looks like this, you may notice that you have to paste something into the box and then select read it and it will read that section aloud for you. In some cases, you'll be able to click a play button and have that be read aloud as well. Using these tools can also allow you to turn on that click to speak feature if it's available and turn on narration as well if it is available. If you have any questions about these tools or have some trouble getting them to work, please reach out to your teacher for help. Lastly, you have a notes section which can help you keep track of important things that you have learned.